Hi, welcome to Moving Mango and today we are going to do a 30 minutes Pilates workout which is super friendly for your knees so if you're ready to throw your mat, let's do this together Alright, now let's start by allowing yourself to open your legs hip width apart and keep your feet parallel to each other pull the belly button all the way in you kind of feel your ribcage kind of pop out so I wanted to inhale deeply and exhale high your ribcage in so really create like a flat surface really tuck all the belly in inhale one more time and exhale deeply good I wanted to soften your knees to the neutral that you feel good and keep balance inhale deeply lengthen the spine open your chest and relax your shoulders inhale one more time and exhale deeply and keep engaging your abs throughout the workout so I'm going to inhale slowly bring your head to one side we're going to do some warm up before we start the workout and keep breathing go all the way to the side but slowly use the breath to control the movement that's amazing and one more time each side now rotate your head around your neck, inhale halfway, exhale halfway, and then reverse. And a couple more rounds. Reverse. Make sure you don't hold your breath, just let the breath control the movement of your head here one more time. And then reverse and slowly bring your head back to the center. Open your arms to the side, shoulders soften. And I want to just soften your elbows as well, soften your knees. I want to inhale slowly, rotate your torso to one side so you feel your obliquity twisting. And back to the center, to the other side. And back to the center. You can lengthen your arms a little bit more so that way you're going to work your whole chest and obliquity rotating warming up amazing now inhale to the one side exhale back to the center inhale to the other side and exhale back to the center do it with your own breath and last one and slowly bring your torso back to the center lengthen your arms now stabilize your hips try to reach your hands to one side and to the opposite side and back to the center a couple more times with your own breath relax your shoulders inhale and exhale and slowly bring it back to the center soften your elbows again bring your elbows all the way towards the hips and then lengthen to the side and bring it back do it slowly inhale and exhale and a couple more times with your own breath two and last one lengthen and slowly bring your hands down rotate your shoulders fully to four directions and then reverse and slowly shake your hips gently kind of rotate your hips like a circle and then go back to the opposite way again and go back and slowly bring your hips back shake your legs and allow yourself to lie all the way down on your back so keep your arms along the body pull the belly button in bend your knees open your legs a bit apart now make sure you keep your back in neutral position and lift on leg up extend the ankle lift your opposite heel off the mat so that way your foot is lengthening aligning with your lower leg and switch so really use your abs here and come back and switch keep breathing make sure you really engage your abs and arms all the way down to the mat don't arch your back and do it slowly keep the same angle on your knees and three two 
two. And last one. And slowly bring your torso back to the center. Flex the ankle, arms along the body. Push both legs further away at the same time and bring it back. You can make it easier by do each leg at a time. Keep breathing. I want to go with the easy version today. But please feel free to go as much as you feel good. Amazing. Six. And five. Four. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, come back. Three. Again, always keep breathing. Two. Don't hold your breath. Last one. And slowly bring your feet down to the mat. Now keep your feet to the center. Lift your hips up. Engage your abs. Lengthen one leg. Come back to the other side and back to the center. Make sure you stabilize your hips. And try to lift your hips as high as you can. I'm going to try to do 10 times here. So 10. 9. Keep breathing. 8. Lengthen. Come back to the other side, seven. Look towards the knees. Only your legs are moving. And four. Three. Good. Two. You can lower your hips if it's easier for the lower back. And slowly draw your hips down to the mat. All right, now I want to allow yourself to inhale and lift your hip, your head off the mat. Use your hands to support your head. Open your elbows a little bit wider. I want to engage your abs and inhale. Lift your heels off the mat. Try to reach your chest higher as high as you can so that way you feel your six pack abs already working even we don't move your torso yet. So really feel that burning along the abs here. Now I wanted to inhale and lift one leg up. Lengthen your leg all the way to 45 degrees or even lower if you feel like you want more challenging. Lift it a little bit higher if you want to make it easier. So just listen to your body. I'm going to inhale, try to reach your chest higher, elbows open. Start to draw a tiny circle with the lengthening leg. So 10, 9, stabilize your hips. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then reverse. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, press your lower back down to the mat. 3, two and one knee bend head down just for a second to take a deep breath and slowly lift up again really press your lower back down lengthen your opposite leg draw a tiny circle again ten nine engage your abs seven six and five four three two one reverse ten nine eight seven six keep breathing four three two and one and slowly bend your knees bring your head down arms along your body take a deep breath and inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right now the next movement i'm going to inhale lift your arms all the way up to the ceiling palms facing each other press your feet down and lift your hips off the mat engage your abs now inhale and lift one Heel off the mat, come back to the other side and come back so 10 times here. Press your shoulder blades down to the mat. Engage your abs. 9. Squeeze your booty. Try to reach your hip as high as you can. 8. Do it slowly. Squeeze your inner thigh. 7. Imagining like we have a pillow under between your thighs. Try to squeeze into each other. And squeeze your booty at the same time. Amazing guys, four, three, and two, and last one, lift down to the other side and slowly bring your hips down to the mat, arms along your body again, shake your hips, take a deep breath, inhale deeply through your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth. Alright, now the next movement. Inhale, lift both legs up, flex the ankle. And now lengthen one leg, your opposite leg to the front, and switch. 
So you don't have to bring your legs so low, listen to your lower abs. Just do what you feel challenging and good at the same time. Amazing. And you can lift your head off the mat if you want to walk your six back abs at the same time. So try to reach your chest higher. Listen to your back. Press your lower back down to the mat. And five, do it slowly. Four, exhale every time you switch. Three, and two, and last one. And slowly bend your knees, bring your head down to the mat again. Now arms along your body, lengthen your legs to 60 degrees. You already feel your six or your lower abs are working here. Start to make a little pulse with your arms. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, and exhale. Couple more times, stay with your own breath. Really engage your abs, and any time if you need a quick rest for your abs and your lower back, the knees bend. And then, as soon as you feel ready, lengthen your legs again. We do a little bit slow pace today, but it's really challenging. So I hope you're enjoying it. Let me know how you feel by commenting below. I really, really love to see your comment. Sometimes I cannot really reply to it. Um, right away, but I always try to catch up with all of you as soon as I can. Good. And three, two, and last one. And slowly hug your knees to your chest. That's amazing, guys. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, and I wanted to allow yourself to lengthen one leg up, one leg to the side, arm to the side, press your whole shoulder blades down, and then slowly bring your leg back to the center and open. So make sure you press both hip bones down to the mat. We're gonna do one side first. Really engage your abs and use the abs to press your opposite hips down to the mat. You can even use your hand to have more support with these two. And two. And last one. To the other side. Ten. Nine. Good. Eight. Amazing, guys. Don't hold your breath at all. And four. Three, two, and last one. And slowly bring your legs to the side together. Flex the ankle, arms along your body. Now inhale and bring one leg to the front, one leg to the back. And don't have to move so far, soften your knees if it's easier for the hips. So listen to your body. And if you bend your knees like this, make sure you keep the same angle on your knee all the time. Movement start from your hips. I just lengthen to make it even more challenging. Amazing, good, seven, six, and five, four, keep breathing, three, inhale, and exhale, two, and last one, and slowly knees bend, feet down, take a deep breath, gently shake your hips, inhale deeply, and exhale deeply, now lean on one side to do circuit series. So you can use your hand to support your head, the opposite hand to the front. Now pull the belly button in and lengthen both legs to the front of the mat. Engage your abs, shoulders far away from your ears. Lift your top leg just above the hips. And now inhale slowly, press your bottom leg down, bring your top leg to the front. And then lift it all the way up as high as you can, all the way to the back and back to the center. It might be a little bit difficult for the balance, and if that's the case, knee bend, bottom knee bend to make it easier. So let's do it 10 times together. And start to the front, all the way up, 
to the back, engage your abs and back to the center. Like we're drawing a circle, but then it's kind of more like a triangle. Good, keep breathing. To the front, lift all the way up, back. And make sure you go inhale halfway and exhale halfway so that way it's easier and we move with control good two and last one and slowly bring your leg back knee bend now lengthen both legs again and this time rest your head down on your arm, pull the belly button in. Start to bring each leg up at a time, bring your leg down. So 10 times you got your own breath. You can always just only bring your top leg up if it's easier. But listen to your body. And if you not to the point that you can bring both legs up at the same time, then it's totally fine. Just take time and work on it and you're gonna feel like you gradually strengthen stronger. Good. Inhale and exhale down. Try to make a little bit more challenging. Both legs just above the mat. One leg to the front, one leg to the back and switch. So really engage your abs and do it slowly here. Ten. Nine. Stabilize your torso. Eight. Inhale and exhale. And seven. Six. Make sure you stabilize your hips. And five, so only your legs are moving. Four, inhale and exhale. Three, keep breathing. And two, and last one. And slowly bring your torso back to the center, legs down. All right, and then you can keep your knees bent at 90 degrees, extend the ankle. Inhale and lift your top leg as high as you can. Rotate your toes, your foot to the front. So now inhale, slowly bring your toes, touch down to the mat or just as low as you feel good. And then come back 10 times. So 10, 9, 8, 7, good, 6, and 5, 4, belly button in, 3, 2, and last one and up close and close your legs so now this time lengthen your bottom leg press your top leg down to the mat engage your abs lift your top leg as high, your bottom leg as high as you can and bring it down 10 times and squeeze your inner thighs And last one. And now flex the angle. Lift your leg up. Make a little pulse for 10, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Move your bottom leg backward. Make a little pulse again without moving your hips. So 10, 9, 8. You're going to feel a little bit more challenging here. 3, 2, and 1. And bring your leg back to the center down to the mat amazing now i'm going to inhale and then we're going to come to the other side to work on the other side so pull the belly button in lengthen both legs and bring your hand to the front of your chest extend the ankle now again inhale and lift your top leg up just above the hips now to the front and all the way up to the back and back to the center Again, the triangle. So you can bend your bottom knee if it's easier for the balance. I'm gonna do that. So 10, stabilize your hips, nine. Engage your abs, eight. Relax your shoulders. Amazing guys, seven, do it slowly. And six, keep breathing. And five more times with your own breath. Four. Three. Two. And last one. And slowly bring your leg down to the mat. Lengthen both legs. Rest your head down on your arm. 
extend the ankle and now inhale lift each leg up and bring your leg down at a time 10 9 keep breathing 8 and 7 6 5 lift and up 2 and last one up and down all right and now i'm going to allow yourself to lift both legs just about the hips bring your leg to the front your leg to the back and switch so 10 do it slowly with control 9 try to go as far as you can 8 do it with your own breath use the breath to control the movement 2 and last one and slowly bring your torso back to the center leg down knees bend all right open your top leg as far as you can rotate your foot to the front and start to bring your foot down and come back touch so 10 times here yeah. 9 8 7 6 keep breathing and 5 4 belly button all the way in 3 2 and last one and slowly rotate bring your leg down now the next movement I'm going to allow yourself to lengthen your bottom leg extend the ankle lift your bottom leg up as high as you can bring it down slowly 10 times 9 keep breathing 8 and slowly bring your leg down to the mat all right now the next movement flex the ankle lift your leg up make a little pause for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 move backward at the same height and 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 and slowly bring your leg down to the mat that's amazing guys all right and now i wanted to allow yourself to come to sit along the mat so pull the belly button all the way in and bring your hands behind your hips close your elbows move your hands a little bit further away so that way it's not going to go a lot to the wrist pull the belly button all the way in try to push your chest up shoulders down engage your abs now inhale lean a little bit backward if it's easier for your hips lift one leg up and down to the opposite side and come back and 10 times each side do it slowly 9 8 you can put your whole forearms down if it's easier for the wrist as, as well slowly with your own speed and 5 4 look to the front make sure you don't pull your chin up to the ceiling because it's gonna cause a lot of pressure on your neck and we don't want that I can play drum here with my hands last one and slowly bring your legs down bend your knees open your legs a bit apart now lift your hips off the mat and shift your weight your torso to the front a little bit so that way you're gonna feel it on your arms good keep your feet toward the center pull the belly button in try to push your chest up and your shoulders far away from your ears now lift lengthen one leg and to the other side come back chin to chest all the time so five more times each side four abs engaging three and two and last one lengthen come back to the opposite side and slowly bring your hips down that's amazing guys now allow yourself to lengthen both legs again lengthen your arms and rotate your hands 
towards the back, lengthen, push your chest up, really engage your abs. Now, I want you to allow yourself to inhale and slowly slide one heel back so that way create a 90 degree on your knee. Lift your opposite leg up, make a little pulse here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Rotate on the same leg, tiny circle. Stabilize your hips, really engage your abs here. And switch. And make a little pause. And slowly bend your knees, open your knees wider. Just keep your feet where you feel comfortable and pull the belly button in, engage your abs. Gently shake your hips, take a deep breath, inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. Alright, and when you're ready, I want you to allow yourself to lengthen your legs and now slowly move your hands towards the hips again. Close your elbows, lift your hips off the mat, pull the belly button in. If you want to make it easier for the wrist, put your forearms down, lift your hips off the mat and bring it back. So I'm going to try to do 10 times here. I'm going to lengthen my arms to feel good on the arms. I really want to work on the torso today, the shoulders and the arms. So let's try to make it a little bit more challenging. Keep breathing. And four, three, two, and last one. And slowly bring your hips down gently, shake your hips, take a deep breath, inhale deeply through your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth. And one more deep breath, and exhale deeply. All right, and now I wanted to allow yourself to come to own four position. So, open your arms, shoulders apart, and your legs sit width apart. Now slowly tuck your feet, lift your knees off the mat, and bring it down slowly with your own breath. Now, if you feel like you have a really, really sensitive knee and you want to make it even easier for the knee, put your forearms down, lift your knees off the mat and just hold it here, hold it for a couple of seconds, or you can even lengthen your legs, come to forearm plank. So listen to your body, otherwise I'm going to keep doing this. Lift and down, nine, eight, seven, do it slowly, six, Look down to the mat and five, four, three, two, and last one and slowly bring your knees down. Bring your knees towards the center, lengthen one leg, lift your leg up and bring your leg down 10 times as high as you can and as low as you can. Stabilize the hips. Good. Three, two, and last one. And bend your knee to the opposite side. Good. Squish your inner thighs. Two. Last one, and slowly bend your knee again. All right, now gently shake your hips from leg to right, open your legs to width apart. Put your forearms down to the mat, engage your abs, tap your feet. Now inhale and slowly lift one knee off the mat. Lengthen your leg, flex the ankle still. Engage your abs, make a little pause. Lengthen the neck, look to the middle of your fingers. And 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, keep breathing, four, three, two, one, knee bend, lift to the opposite side, nine, eight, really engage your abs here, six, and five, 
four, three, two, and last one and slowly bend your knee. Gently shake your hips, take a deep breath. Inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. And then lengthen your arms, engage your abs, and then we're going to slowly just dip your shoulders all the way down, lengthen, and then dip your shoulders down. So five times with your own breath. Keep breathing. Four, three, two, last one. And then lengthen your legs. So I wanted to bend your elbows, slowly bring your torso down to the point that you lie all the way down on your belly. Hands neck to your chest, close your elbows, tuck your feet and press your hands down to put your whole torso up and bring your torso down slowly. We're going to do this for five times together. If you want to make it easier, put your whole forearms down and press to the forearm plank and then come back. Make sure you go all the way down before you go up. So four more times with your own breath. Inhale and exhale. Three. And don't have to go so far. Just a, a little bit on so cold. Two. You're going to feel your heartbeat rising here. Last one. And slowly, just gently shake your hips, take a deep breath. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. Good. The hands neck to over your head. And slowly lift one arm and opposite leg up. Bring your torso down to the opposite side. To make it more challenging, both arms and legs up at the same time. Inhale. And exhale. Nine. Eight. Seven. Make sure you pull the belly button toward the spine to support your lower back. And squeeze your booty. Lengthen your legs all the way. Inhale up. Exhale down. And two. And last one. And slowly bring your torso down. Gently shake your hips. Take a deep breath. Inhale deeply through your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. All right. Now. Keep your hands next to the front of the chest. Press your hands down. And I'm going to pull the belly button in. Try to lift your hip bones off the mat. So you're going to feel and see the gap here between your hips. Lift it up. Keep your back in neutral. Lengthen your neck. Squeeze your booty. And exhale, double tap with your foot to the opposite side. Come back. So stabilize your hips here. Only your legs are moving. You're going to really feel your legs are working, the front of your leg and your booty is squeezed. That's amazing. I really, really love this one. It looks easy, but it's totally challenging once you do it right. So make sure you engage all the muscles and your hips must be off the mat. So it's kind of like have a little resistance when you bring your foot towards the hips. And three, two, to the other side, and last one, and slowly bring your hip bones down, your whole torso down, gently shake your hips, take a deep breath, inhale deeply through your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth. And so we're almost done, so I wanted to do a quick stretch before we complete the workout today. So first, just put your hands next to your chest, close your elbows all the way, pull the belly button in. Now lengthen your arms, engage your abs. So you can arch your back, but if you don't feel comfortable with the lower back, just go as high as you can. Listen to your body. I'm going to try to do it for, hold it here for three. Take a deep breath, shoulders down, and one and slowly bend your elbows, bring it down. Good. And lift your legs all the way up, knees bend. If you feel comfortable touching and use your hand to hug the ankles, then feel free to do that. Otherwise, do one leg at a time. Try to push a little bit, pull a little bit so that way the front of your thigh feels stretching. 
but if you cannot do that, it's totally fine. Just try to go as high as you can, you know. So squeeze your booty, listen to your body, and hold it here for three, two. Make sure you change to the other side if you do one leg at a time. And one, and slowly bring both knees down to the mat. Lengthen your legs. Now, interlace your finger, use your hands to pull your torso up and open your chest. Look to the front and slowly bring your torso down. Rotate your head to one side. Lift your arms as high as you can and bring your arms down to the point you feel good. And lift your head off the mat, rotate to the opposite side. Lift your arms up and arms down. And slowly bring your torso back. Come to try pose. Open your knees wide to stretch your back more. And work your hands back to the center. Take a deep breath, you know, deeply through your nose, sit up. And exhale deeply through your mouth. And when you're ready, allow yourself to sit along the mat. You can cross your legs here. Or if you feel flexible enough, if you feel good with your body for being able to stand up, then feel free to do that. So just rotate your shoulders fully to four directions. I'm actually going to stand up, but it's really up to you. Listen to your body. And then reverse. Open your arms to the side. And now inhale, soften your elbow, round your spine, and then open. And exhale, round, and inhale, open. And three more times, you get your own breath. Two. And last one. And slowly open your arms all the way backward. Open your chest and push your chest all the way down to the mat. Look to the front and bring your head a little bit upward. Just just a little bit so that way you feel your shoulders your neck is stretching and slowly bring it back to the center around your spine use your hand to just hug your chest to hug the heart by hugging the love and inhale open bring your hands down rotate your shoulders again and then reverse and bring your head to one side and to the opposite side back to the center couple more times and bring it back to the central arms to the side now try to reach your hand to one side and stabilize your hips here so only the torso is rotating is reaching and lengthening on one side good and back to the center reach your hands both hands to the sides and soften your elbows all the way, interlace your finger, lift your arms up and down and lift and down. And one more time. And gently shake your shoulders, your hips and your knees. Rotate your hips in circle and then reverse. And one more round and reverse. Rotate your head. Inhale halfway, exhale halfway and then reverse. And slowly bring your head back to the center and just do it a couple more times here if you feel like you want more and then just take a deep breath exit deeply and that's the work after that thank you so much for joining me if you haven't subscribed the channel then don't forget to do that and also subscribe the bell to see notification when I upload new video but make sure the most important thing share this work out to someone that you feel like it can benefit them because I want to spread the channel to more and more people and it will mean a lot to me so I'm gonna see you in the next video have an amazing day bye bye